good night world. It's 9.30, about 9.30 Eastern Standard Canadian time, obviously. So all you guys on the East Coast of America and Canada and Mexico, it's about the same time. Whereas all you guys on the on the West Coast, you guys, it's like three hours. Right now in, in, in like Los Angeles, Vancouver, it's like what, like six o'clock right now? <laughs> Around there. Yes, yeah, I did not make a video because I decided I wanted, to, I was tired. I, I decided to take a break. I've been pumping out videos pretty much every day for like almost a year now. Since last March. So what? So what? So you guys, so I, I, some days I'm tired. I don't feel like making the video and I decide to take a break. Since there? I decide to take a break. Obviously. So if you hear the noise, my step parents are listening to Christian music, supposedly Christian music, right? So you're gonna have to excuse the noise. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video my video the other day when I talked about my Hollywood news show video that I where I talked about Avatar's performance. Avatar will most likely hit two billion dollars in the box office. If it does, I will not be shocked as you cannot bet against James Cameron. His Avatar movie was is is, is a what? Is very very successful obviously his first one was very successful his second one is already successful it's already profitable but i don't think it'll hit three billion i don't think it'll beat out avatar one but i i, I will not be shocked if it hits over two billion dollars still has like 300 million left to go it might it should have enough legs to hit two billion to, to probably hit two billion dollars but not three billion dollars well, who knows maybe it might i did holly that'll make three billion but if it does i'll be i'll be very surprised obviously I would not be shocked if it hits $2 billion now. Now that it already passed $1.7 billion, I will not be shocked if Avatar hits, hits, that, hits, hits that range. It's already profitable. It made, it made more than its $1.2 billion, so it's profitable, obviously. $1.2, $1.3 billion, whatever it is. So it's profitable. The question is, will, will it be a smash hit? If it makes $2 billion, Avatar 2, 2 was obviously a smash hit. It made hundreds of millions in profit. It's a hit, obviously, which is good for, for Disney, obviously. Good for the studios. There. Now after this video, I'll watch this video. I might make maybe a, a quick forty-minute video here because it's nine thirty, and they're gonna take away the cord soon. So if you don't, if you don't want what, if you if I if you if you guys if I if you, if, you, if, you, if I don't want you guys to wait, if you don't want to wait till tomorrow. I have to make a shorter video. That way, what? You guys, and I upload the video in time for you guys to watch. So this will only be a quick, like, 35 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute video here. And I'm going to shut the camera off here, and I'm going to have my beer on and my smokes. Enjoy the uh, video with you guys. And after that, I'll watch some John Campia. And The Last of Us television series, guys, on HBO Max is coming out this Sunday. So I recommend you guys who are Last of Us fans of the game, obviously, I recommend you check out that show. It's with uh, Pedro Pascal. He's in. He's he's the lead of the show. He's playing as Joel. I recommend you guys check that out. I recommend you check it out. Since there, I recommend you check it out, and I'll enjoy. I bought myself a tuna sub combo at Subway, and I'm gonna enjoy my 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 tuna sub sub at Subway. After I have my beer and my smokes, and I'm gonna watch some John Campio and enjoy the show. As you fans love John Campio, I recommend you guys check him out. John Campio, he has a good movie show, obviously. The best movie show on YouTube. Yeah, you guys have no idea, man, how much buzz Zayn will have, man. You're looking at crazy worldwide buzz for Zayn, something crazy, yeah, man, something crazy. Crazy worldwide buzz for Zanus. Really, Ivan? Yeah, man. Something crazy. Crazy worldwide buzz for Zanus. Crazy worldwide buzz for Zanus, man. Something crazy. <coughs> Something fucking crazy. Crazy worldwide buzz for Zanus. Yeah, man. Worldwide international fame. That's why you guys are going to feel that price of being left behind. Because I even set this whole thing up. I did. 
I sat the whole thing up. You do this to me, I'm going to make you pay too. When I'm getting your left behind, you're not safe. Had you let me have VJ all to myself, I would have made thousands of YouTube videos for you to watch, man. You would have seen me in the public eye and you made this choice because you're stupid people, man. I would have been hanging out with my family. Instead, we, me and VJ would have been friends with the Steph families, man. Hanging out, everything. Yeah, they would have been a part of the buzz. Whenever I do the red carpets, of my, all, all members of my family, VJ's family will be, will be, will be coming to the red carpet with me. Because they're, they're envious of my relationship, they, they, well, I can't stand being together. They left everything over. We all want a piece of that. Okay, then now, and you hide your wealth and you, you cause this mess and you kill me. Now when I'm king, I, I peace out. And you're not a part of my glory. You're left behind. You're not saved. As after I pay this fee, I can't even hang out with the Seth Mimes. Everything's too messy. Everything's just fucked up. You hid your wealth for 30 years. All members of my family bang me. I like, yeah, I bang me his family. I bang my own stepmother. Everything is so fucked up. I have to peace out, man. And they killed me. They hid their wealth for, th th for th more than three decades. They sat me with me for three decades. Yeah, they did all this evil to me. And me and Vijay have no choice but to peace out. We can't, we can't hang out with the Seth Mimes. So I set the whole thing up. If you do this to me, I'm going to peace out with my wife. When I'm king, you're left behind. I take my money, I take my wife, and I peace out. And you're left behind, you're back in the glory of God. Yeah, man. Yes, the Steph Fowlers will be living the, the trillionaire life, but like they're, 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 not, they're not king and queen like me. They're not the main show. And they're going to feel left behind. Yeah, they're living the life, but they're, they're still left behind. As I told you, even the billionaires and millionaires, the multi-millionaires around the world, they're going to feel like shit. Because there's a side tension now, and I even read you on the main show. There, Ivan and VJ are the main show, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, looking at crazy worldwide fame. Yeah, man, me and VJ are gonna start that Sky Source film entertainment company bigger than all the Hollywood companies. Yeah, we're gonna have our own nice office where we work, a nice, like, luxury office. Today, when I went to the doctors, obviously. Um, when I took my blood, when I did my blood work, obviously, um, I remember I sat in this office room and like they had, a, it was a nice fucking office. The, the, the doctor or whatever had a nice office, you know what I'm saying? A nice little office, nice computer. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to own a nice, a nicer office than this professional, like nice, like high luxury quality office. Me and VJ are going to own one of me boss. Remember VJ in, uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, in, what was it? Um, Cooper Barrett's Guide to Surviving Life. She was boss. You saw her on her phone. She was boss. Yeah, you're going to see VJ boss on her phone. She was crossing her legs. She was making a call. Yeah, VJ's boss. She's, 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 in my, she's, she's in the office, and she's making calls, and she's boss. Me, VJ, and Peter would make all the calls. Yeah, because of the movie. That's going to be amazing. And Peter really, yeah, I'm having much more fun working on your movie than I did Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Obviously. But Doc King's filming all this, too. So while me and VJ and Peter and all of them work, the doc team is filming us a lot. I'm going to tell the doc team, okay, they're going to ask Ivan, okay, film a good... <coughs> <coughs> film a good what? Film a good what? Film a good, like, film a good, like, what? Three, three to four, th three days a week. I'll give you two days off. Film three days of what's going on in the office every week. That way you get a lot of footage. Two to three times a week you film what's going on in, 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 in the office. The cause of arts, me writing the script, the what. You film some of that. That way you get you, you get you get a good documentary. I don't pay you guys a lot of money for nothing. I'm going to put you to fucking work. I want you filming a good chunk of what's going on. Behind. Not everything, but film a good chunk of it. Like a good like six, 65% of what happened behind the scenes. 60% of what happened behind the scenes. 65% of what happened behind the scenes. I'm saying, huh? You're looking at like a nine, eight hour documentary, something long. And Zayas, I'll make it based off. Zayas, I'll make it based off my novel that I wrote. My novel that I wrote. My last over Zayas, my, my last over Zayas novel that I wrote. Masterpiece. I'll be making the movie based off my novel. Obviously, and I'll fund it for a billion, twenty million dollars. A billion, twenty million. That's how much I'm going to fund Zane's for. Four ten towards salary to pay the cast and crew. Ten million towards the doc. 
six hundred million funded for the documentary, and I'll put like one hundred twenty thousand towards commercials. So to save more money on the budget, I'll take out one twenty thousand dollars on my account, on my account, and I'll use that to, to fund the the, the the six commercials I'm gonna do with the seven team and the actors. The the commercials I'm gonna do with the seven team and the actors. See what I'm saying? Sarah. Yeah, Peter will sign to his five hundred million contract, and then Mel Gibson I'll sign him to his what? To his uh like two twenty million dollar contract. And if Peter's greedy and he wants eight hundred million dollars of the profits, I'm like Peter, I'm not paying you that. Four fifty million dollars is enough. I'm not paying way more than that, Peter. But you're getting greedy. I'm not going to pay you more than that. So Sarah, if you don't like this offer, Peter, I'll hire him over you, and you can go back to Halloween and Thursday and like my offer. And, and being in that shittier one hundred million or one hundred million dollar budget, and getting served shittier food and not getting the same kind of perks or the same fame or same buzz as you will for my movie, I gave you an unlimited budget. I signed you to the biggest contract ever for director. Your nice perks. This is a good deal. If you don't like it, Peter, it's a deal. I mean, yeah, I gave you the deal. If you don't like it, Peter. I'll, I'll hire Mel Gibson over you. Same goes for Mel. If Mel does like my offer. I'll hire Peter over him. It goes both ways for both those guys. Seems like. Do not let these animals in Hollywood dupe you, man. These, all these people in Hollywood are greedy animals. People in Hollywood, because they're big people and they make a lot of money, they're greedy people. You gotta be careful about the sharks, man. The actors, as well as the directors, too. You gotta be careful. They're all sharks. They all want, everyone in this world wants to make as much money as they can. Peter, is, is, he knows this is an opportunity for him to strike it very much richer. He might try and push for like oh, $800 billion contract. I'm like, Peter, no. I'm not gonna give you a billion dollars of the profits. You're fucking crazy. Four fifty million dollars is enough. You don't even make this all. You didn't make this for the rings. This is almost double what you made for the rings. Sarah, Peter will not try and get a piece of the actors and crewmen's money because I think I think he's noble enough to, to to know better to not do that. But if he does do that, I'm going to be strict with him. Peter, you're getting greedy. I'm not going to let you take the crewmen's money and the actors' money. I'm already paying you enough money. I'm not, I didn't like the crewman. 80K is a good patron for the crewman. You don't have to pay the 150K. Just give out money to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Peter, man, you're fucking greedy. I'm not going to give you the crewman's money, man. Oh, my God. I signed you to a 500 million deal. You're fucking greedy, man. You're greedy, pay Peter. Yeah, I mean, I'm fucking greedy. Yeah, you're greedy. Stop. I'm not going to give you a piece of the crewman's money. I already... Because Peter wants, like, a, like a 700 plus million dollar contract for the royalties. As he might try and take, like, a, like an 80. He wants, like, $100 million of that pie for the crewman's money. And another like one hundred million dollars of the actors' money and the royalties. He's greedy, obviously. I even pay him only five hundred k. That's good enough, Ivan. I'm saying, I'm like, no, Peter. Pay him his four. That way he makes his millions. And he brags about my company. He's in Hollywood. Ivan, five hundred k is a good paycheck. I can last him for like two and a half years. Ivan, you can get his nice car. Yeah, you can get his nice car. But that's left a lot of his money gone. That money is only left to last him for maybe two years. That's a shitty paycheck. No, pay him his four. That that way he makes his millions. He can he can get his nice cars, his nice clothes, his nice condo, his nice apartment. You know, then you give him a nice piece of royalties. That way he works harder for you. And you brag someone's around my company. He's in Hollywood. He striked it much richer. He walked away with like five plus million dollars in his bank. Lasted for 10, 15 years. 20 years. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And he brags how much better my company is in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, Ivan, you're right. If you pay him a lot more money, they're, yeah, they're going to work harder for you, Peter. Oscar worthy performances. And they're going to brag how much better Scott is in Hollywood. I don't know what I'm doing. You want these actors, Peter, to destroy the role. You got to pay them the millions, man. Don't pay them the shitty 500, seven because he might try and push for like a seven hundred eight thousand dollars salary for Carl Urban, one point five million dollars for Yvonne Joe, for, for John Boyega. I'm like, no. Pay John Boyega is eight point nine. That way he works harder for you, Peter. As he's a fucking like major character of the story. I said, you read my book, yeah, I read your book, yeah. That's Tony is a major character. That's Tonyus. Is a major character of the story. Tassatonius is a major character of the story. Some Sarah. 
that Tacitonius is a major character of the story. When you read my book, guys, you'll see what I mean. Tacitonius, uh, Papyri, Cassius are like the three like major characters after Tac. Tacitus is the main character; he's the lead. But like Cassius, Tacitonius, and Papyri have a lot of scenes in the, in, the, in, the, in the book, and all the other characters have a good chunk of scenes too. They're supporting characters, but those three guys are 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 are, are the what are the are the are the major characters of the story after Tacitus. So, Sarah. Samsara? Yeah. So let's say, if hypothetically speaking, I choose Peter Jackson. I'll fly him and his wife, Fran, and Barry Osborne. Okay, Peter, you, 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 I'm more, you're more than welcome to have your wife be on board. Is your, I, want, I want to have your wife as an assistant producer. Does she want, does she want to be on board? Yeah, I, she's more than happy to be on board. Yeah, yeah. I can have your wife come on board. She can be the assistant producer. And I'll hire Barry Osborne to help to help her out with the business calls. They, they will help with my 17 with the calls. They can help you out with, the, uh, and your wife can help you out with the notes. And I'll, I, you can hire Gilmore or Guatemala de Toro to be your assistant. To, 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 I'll hire Guatemala de Toro to be your assistant director. Sign so Guatemala de Toro to like, I don't know, like a, an $11 million deal. As it says, that's a good paycheck for him. Pay him his three million, about $3 million bucks base with salary and bonuses. And you give him like $8 million of the profits. Sign so to $11 million. Deal. That's a good paycheck. For, that's how much he makes in Hollywood as, as, a, as a fucking director. He probably makes four, five, six million to Guatemala Tour and all as a director. I'm paying him more for an assistant director. That's a good deal for him. Some Sam. Some so when I fly in Pew and he signs that massive five hundred dollar contract, I'll, I'll I'll sign his wife Fran to a one million dollar deal. That's a good deal. That's a good paycheck for her. That's like three million New Zealand money. That's a good deal for her for assistant producer. She doesn't get squad royalties and very awesome on signs like an eight fifty thousand dollar deal. That way, they could, that, that way, Barry Austin can pay his bills, and you can live a, a, a great life with that kind of money. So, Sarah. But if Barry Austin and Fran want a piece of the problem, like you're not getting a piece of the problem. You're my assistant, but Fran, you're sharing you, your money. Is, Peter's money is your money. You're sharing that money with him. And Barry Austin, I'm paying you eight fifty k. You don't make this in Hollywood. You make like your three hundred k in Hollywood, whatever it is, around that range, right? So I'm giving you a good deal. And you guys will be my assistant producers. But the Molotov will be my assistant producers. They'll be helping out my 17 with the calls. Obviously. But because Peter is the boss of the movie, Peter will tell me, I, if you want me to direct the movie, you better give me full power. Yeah, Peter, I'll give you full power. I'll give you full power, but I have some control in some of the things, man. I'm not giving you full power for the cons arts. And I'm not giving you full power for the script either. Like, me and you are going to have to talk it over what we want have to happen in the movie and we, we just write the script. Like, I'm not giving Peter full power of the cons because I'm scared if I give him full power of the cons arts, he might have Aerotap be a full-on CGI wolf. He might have the, the world be full-on CGI, which I'm not a fan of. You need to mix it with your practical effects. Obviously. I'm scared he might have Aerotap be like a, were a, a werewolf-looking wolf, man. I'm like, Peter, no. I don't want Aerotap to look like a werewolf. I don't want it to be a wolf of legs. I want him to have like a hybrid human animal. He, he has, he has, he's an animal, but he has human features like the orcs and Lord of the Rings and the Ring Race. He has human features, but he's an animal, obviously. Long pointy ears, but he has this like psychotic clownish look. He's an animal. He has hair. He has a bit of human features, but he's an animal. That way you can tell a better story. If you have him be a werewolf, the movie won't be as good. No, stay away from werewolf Aerotat. Stay away from, from, from Wolf on Four Legs Aerotat. Stay away from full CGI Aerotat. Otherwise, it'll look a little tiny cheesy. Because even though CGI makes them look amazing, it looks a bit cheesy because it's a full-on computer-generated technology. And that's why I'm not a fan of full CGI air attacks, since I are. Yeah. And once I sign Peter Fran and Barry Osborne and Guillermo Toro, I will party, I will take him out to a nice dinner at Boston Pizza, and I'll party up my 300 million dollar condo. So we need Vijay, my 17, and Pierre and other one. We'll do a nice party in my con for like five hours. We all get drunk. And then what? And then what I'll do is the day, the, the day, the moment, the day I fly in Pierre and all of them, that'll be the day they'll be, my 17, we're going to have to make the calls and book a hotel for them. Instead of sending them back home, okay, when, when you guys come in to sign your contracts, obviously, bring all your, your luggage with you and everything. I'll fly, I'll fly you probably, I'll fly, I'll have a jet pick you up in New Zealand and fly you guys all to, to Vancouver. Bring all your luggage with you. That way, once the party's over, once I party up my condo, 
I'll have a Lomo driver, a tab or a Lomo driver take you to your hotel, your booked suite hotel, and you guys, you guys will prepare, is now settled in your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your suite, your hotel that, that you're going to be staying in for a good year. A good year, a year, and a year and a month, whatever it is. So, Sarah. Peter and Guatemala Tour will stay for like a year and a month. Fran and his wife Helen will stay there for a good year. And after Christmas time, you send them home. And Peter will you fly him back to Vancouver after Christmas. And he's going to help me sign all the actors, write a digital, and, 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 and the cinematographers. And after that, I'll send him home for a couple months. You can have him oversee some stuff in Switzerland. There's the mask, obviously. The mask. The, the people design the mask. The, uh, the extras, he doesn't have to oversee that. We can have, you know what I'm saying? You have the uh, the costume designers. You also have s some of the construction crew makers are building some of the sets second year. Peter and them will oversee some of that second year. Obviously, you have to find a way to put Peter to work, man. Yeah, man. But even though, like, me and Peter and Vijay are going to be doing a lot of work, it's, 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 it's slack work compared to everyone else. As me, VJ, and Peter will be chilling pretty much. We won't be doing that much work. All I have to do is just co-write that script, which is a lot of work, obviously, and do the concert arts, which is slack, and I made the calls for the main things. And I signed the, the contracts the first year, the people forming the first year. The mass designers, the people overseeing the extras, the costume designers, and the wedding worship, I'll sign up, and, and, and the trained nutritionists, I'll sign all those guys the first year. Peter will help me sign all those guys. Hey, Peter, pay them all their flat one fifty thousand dollars salary, but for the mass designers only, we're going to have to divide their one fifty thousand dollars salary over the three years, the second year and third year and fourth. You can pay them like thirty k the second year, or like one hundred k the the third year, or eighty k the third year. You can pay them a nice forty k the uh, forty k what forty k the fourth year. That's a good. That's a good deal. All right, that's a good deal. Yeah, that way they can feed their families, man. Because like you, you can't pay them. You, you, they're gonna need. They're gonna need money. I'm like, yeah, all right, we're gonna need money. Okay, fine. I'll divide your one forty thousand dollars salary. Pay you thirty k the second year, or I can pay you. An, I can pay you eighty k. I can pay you a fat eighty. The, the second year they won't be doing as much work. I can pay you like thirty thousand dollars is enough for you to pay your bills. That's in the, you, most of you guys are married. If you make thirty k and your and your and your husband or wife is working, you can afford to pay your bills. And if you need more money, tell me. I can pay you more. I can pay you forty if you want. I can pay you 40 if you want. Obviously. Pay you 40 and then 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 what? In the third year I can pay you 60k and I can pay you 40k the fourth year. That way you can feed your family with that money. That's whatever deal works best for you guys. I recommend you get your small 30k and you get your nice fat 100k the third year. In the fourth year you're not you're not gonna be doing as much work. Pay you guys twenty thousand dollars. That's a good deal. That way you can feed your family. Yeah, like, Peter's like, oh, I mean, that's a good deal. They can feed their families that money. Yeah, feed the families. That's why do not pay them 80K. As 80K for like three years of work is not that great of a paycheck. Whereas 150K is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a nice, is a good paycheck for three years of work. That's a nice paycheck. If you divide it like ni nicely, it's, 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 a, it's a nice paycheck for, for the crewmen. Obviously. And then the rest of the crewmen who are, flown, who are flown in the third year and fourth year, they get their 100K and their 50K the fourth year. But the Pacific crewmen who are going to work the second year, you have to divide it over the three years because they're going to they're going to need money. and They have to pay their bills. Because the guy, even thirty k is a good pay. That's how much they make in Hollywood for the whole movie. Yeah, that's enough money for them to pay to, 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 to pay their bills. I mean, yeah, it's enough money for for them to pay their bills. That's why Peter tries to get a piece of the crewman's money. I'm like Peter, no, I'm going to be strict. No, Peter, I'm not ta letting you take the crewman's money, man. I put four ten million dollars worth size for a reason. That way, I can afford to pay him the rich one fifty thousand dollars. I know what I'm doing. That way they work harder for you and they don't quit on you. Like your lying guys in Lord of the Rings. You want them to work hard for you and not quit on you. You what? You pay them a, a nice one thousand on the side that way they work hard for you, Peter. Some Sarah. Obviously. Peter's all shocked. He's like, holy shit, I've been four ten million towards salaries? I'm like, yeah, Peter. Holy shit, this is more than the entire budget of Lord of the Rings, Ivan. Yeah, with this money, Peter, I can pay the actors a rich... The rich millions, I can pay the crew in the rich salary. Hence, they're all going to work harder for you and me. You'll get a better movie, better than even your Lord of the Rings, man. You'll get a better movie than even your Lord of the Rings. Then, Sarah? You'll get a better movie than even your Lord of the Rings. I know what I'm doing, man. I know what I'm doing. You'll get a better movie than even your Lord of the Rings. Samsara? 
Yeah, I'm only gonna make a 30 minute video, guys. I'm tired. I don't feel like talking for long, man. I'm tired. I'll, I'll make a quick 30 minute video. I'm gonna enjoy the video with you guys, and I'll watch him John Caffey and eat my subway. Yeah. So people helped me to call for the hotel party and the red carpet event, the IMS cameras, you come for the cameras, the costumes, armor, and weapons, and machines for the machine for designing the masks, the CGI technology software for the red adult to work with, obviously, the food and the kitchen equipment. They'll help me to call for all that. And then my team will handle the sets. That's what's going to work. That way you take the stress off me and Peter. And it'll help me co-write the script, consult with the seven team and health movement. So once all the business calls are now taken care of, me and Vijay took all those calls, obviously. Me, Vijay, and Peter made those calls. Um, I'll have Peter start helping out the seven team with some business calls a little bit. But you got you to find a way to put in the work. So once the script is now finished, obviously, and and, and, and my two servers print out the scripts, have Peter help out the seven team with some calls. Put them to work. And then me and Vijay can just practice our lines Every morning at our at our condo, when we meet up with, with 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 we, we practice our lines every morning, and then we we, we 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 practice our lines every morning. In the afternoon, we can sign some of the people who were flown in the first year. That's how it work. Me and we will be chill. We won't be doing that much work because we're the boss. We don't do as much work. You put your tune to work, man. And after this AS, I am never writing a script ever again. I'm just gonna exec or produce and act in my movie. I'll sign the contracts, make the calls, which are the main things. And then I'll hire a writing team to, to, to write my Great Escape script with Keanu Reeves and all them. And I'll, me and Vijay will take the notes, we'll, we'll, we'll take the notes and ideas we have for the movie. And we'll give them a foundation to write the script. But they, they, you guys are writing the script, I'm not writing it, man. Hire, hire a top, I had, hire talented screenwriters in Hollywood who wrote like CIA kind of movies. People who wrote Born Identity, James Bond. You can hire one guy who wrote, who wrote Born Identity and like James Bond to... Have those two guys be your main writers, and your two servers help them out a little bit with the script, and your director helps them out with the script. That way, you get a good a, a good script. Look, man, I want a Hollywood level style script, something on the same level as James Bond and like and, and John Wick and and and, and, and Born Identity. Where you get a good movie, some Sarah. I don't want you writing a shitty fucking script. Make sure you write a good fucking script. And I'm gonna, I'll be in the room with them, giving them, me and Vijay will be in the room with them, giving them my ideas. So me and Vijay will have them our notes that we took. That way they understand what we want the story to be about. That way they have a foundation when they write their scripts. It's easier for they have, it's easier for them to write the script, obviously. I'll do, do that for all my movies. For very unique, me and Vijay will plan out the three three act structure. We hire a, 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 we hire what a screenwriter who wrote romance. We can hire the screenwriter who wrote Twilight the first one and maybe the Notebook with Ryan Gosling and uh, and, and, and 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 Rachel McAdams. Hire those two screenwriters and have have have, have them help Catherine Harder write the script. They write the script. Catherine Harder will help them write the script, and my two screenwriters will help them will, will help them to write the script too. You have a lot of core writers, or you get a good movie, a good romance story. I know I'm doing, it. and then and 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 they look at our notes that way they have ideas for when they write the script. Obviously, but me and Vijay are not writing the script. As after saying this, I'm retiring as a writer. I'm just gonna act and executive produce, and I'll hire a director. I mean, you don't want to direct your movies? No, I don't want to direct my movies. I'll just hire a director who has Hollywood experience to direct my movies. And I'll hire a writing team to write to write all my scripts. But I'll take the notes. Detailed notes with Vijay. That way we have foundation for the story. That way they're not lost. And they can they have an idea for when they write write write, write down scenes. Some say. Yeah. Zayance is the only movie whereby I'm going to write it because I wrote the story. I wrote the book and it's Zayance is my baby. I don't want anyone to ruin that story. That's why I want to write that. But I need help. I'm going to have Peter help me and, and my two servers help me. I could I could have Fran and Grimoto help me too, but like I, I don't need seven co-writers. That's crazy. Peter Peter is more P, Peter is more enough to help me and my two servers is more enough to help me. I don't need any more help. But I can have Fran help Peter with his notes. That way you, that way you get a better have Okay, Peter... Peter, you can have your friend help you with a note. Have your white friend help you with the notes. And have Grandma Tor help you with the notes. You can even have George Lucas help you if you want to. George Lucas is talented too. He can, have, he can help you out a little bit if you want. George, you're more than welcome to help out Peter Jackson if you want with the notes. You don't have to help him out much, but you're more than welcome to give us my ideas if you want. Help him out a little bit if you want. This is Aaron. Really got a good movie. Make sure Peter takes his notes that way you get a good movie. 
and he doesn't slack. And he, and he, he doesn't slack off. He won't slack off. He'll work really hard because I pay him more money than what he made for the Lord of the Rings. He got his ten more bones. That's a lot of money for pre-production. He'll work hard. And 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 you what? That way Peter's prepped. That way when the fourth year happens and production's about to start, Peter took his notes. He's prepped. You know what I'm saying? The first shoot director team, second director team, and all them, Graham Toro, they all read Peter's notes. They, they're all, they read the script. They're prepped to help Peter out with, 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 with directing. And you get a good movie. And you're going to see how nervous Peter is when he directs my movie. Because it's an Ivan movie. He doesn't want to fuck up my movie, obviously. Yeah, Ivan wrote a masterpiece. I don't want to fuck up his masterpiece. Yes. He'll be, he won't, though. He'll, he'll, he'll destroy the role as a director. And all the actors are going to be nervous, I'm saying. And before you know it, the 10, 11 months of filming goes by. And it, everyone's like, it's done, Ivan? I'm like, yeah, guys, it's done. I'm saying, Ivan, it's already done? I had a blast, man. I was saying, yeah, it's done, guys. Yeah, you guys got your check. You're going to get your check for the royalties. And, and you're, 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 I'm going to end it off with the red card, man. That journey ends, guys. And the actors all oh, Ivan, it's done. I'm like, yeah, guys, it's done, man. I'm saying. He was like, Ivan, it's, it's done already? I'm like, yeah, Peter, holy shit, those 11 months went by fast. Because they had a blast filming an Ivan. They know the Empire will be so cool. They had a blast filming an Ivan movie. I am VJ movie. They're all going to be like, oh, it's done, Ivan? I'm like, yeah, guys, it's done. I'm saying. Yeah, man. You're going to see how, 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 what? How sad the actors are. I'm like, guys, it's not over yet. You're, if, if we don't go touring, you're going to experience fame with the fans for like like six, seven. Guys, the Red Harbor event will take place like eight months later after the, after filming. Eight, nine months later after filming. You guys are going to experience that buzz for like eight, nine months of the trailers and Pulse Rush will take place. It's not over yet. But they're going to be like, oh, it's done, Ivan? I'm like, yeah, because they know the journey is pretty much over. Yeah, it's done, guys. Ivan, can you resign me, please? I'm like, no, man. You're not good for that for Secret Agent movie, man. Oh, my God. You're not good at all, okay? You're not good at all. You're not good at all for that Secret Agent movie. I'm saying. It's not fair to Keanu Reeves. They deserve, to be, they deserve what? A shot, too. To experience the fame with Ivy. It's not just about you guys. Stop being selfish and think about others. It's not just about you, Sarah. They're going to be part of that buzz. Aeratat and them devils, man. Aeratat and them devils. Yeah, man. It's been crazy. That's why it's the best with all the most picture. Yeah, man. <coughs> anyway, it was Ivan Amaro. I'm signing up. Peace.